Hey everyone, welcome back to World Runner Dex. I'm Dex, and today we just want to do a real quick video about what's going on with the maps. Uh, it sounds like Wild Studio Wildcard, um, you know, they're making, they're working on the Scorched Earth map, and it sounds like they have partners or another studio or something that's doing the uh, the other maps, like the Center, the non-story maps, the Center, Ragnarok, uh, Valgaro, if you order those maps. Uh, so they are not happy with the quality of uh, the center yet, so they're going to keep working on it till it gets to where it needs to be. Uh, it was supposed to come out this week, uh, or they said the end of February. It's the end of February, which would be this week, and uh, sounds like that's not going to happen. So in order to kind of make up for that, they're going to release the uh, the Gigantoraptor onto the island on Wednesday. So we'll be doing a video on Wednesday about that. Uh, we'll see kind of how that works out for uh, if it ha if it helps us out with um, breeding or anything like that. I'm not really uh, convinced it's going to be much of a change for what we're doing when we're breeding up uh, these dinos for boss fights. Uh, so it's a little bit disappointing that we're not going to start the uh, the center, but at the same time, I'm still trying to breed dinos to fight the bosses. Um, you know, on the island, so I'm not quite done with the island yet anyways. Um, so I'm not sure how that's going to uh, work out for uh, Scorched Earth. Maybe they'll move Scorched Earth back to uh, in front of the center. Maybe not. I guess it just depends on how much work they really need to do on both maps. But uh, it's not super surprising. You know, uh, Ark is always notoriously late on things, so... Uh, the other thing that was interesting to know in this community crunch was the Oasis Soar uh, has, if you um, read about its abilities, it has the ability to bring um, killed dinos back to life, to resurrect dinos. I'm curious to see how that works. Um, it also has healing water, so I'm assuming if... Uh, if, if your character's damaged pretty good, you can just jump in the water and it'll like basically regenerate health. Um, so it's very interesting. And uh, yeah, I don't, um, it says, it says the living land mass will nurture its long-term inhabitants. The friendship is worth the time and investment because favored access, because favored residents get access to a pool with truly magical properties. For starters, it's restorative waters will cure bathers of nearly any illness or affliction. So, that's going to be things like super rabies that you get from bats and stuff like that. Um, and then it also, most unbelievably, the wellspring of the Oasis Sword can reincarnate your lost animal friends. Whether by transcendental magic or access to the mysterious technologies of these arcs, I've seen fallen, a fallen pet returned to newborn life by committing their essence to that rejuvenating pool. So the question is, does, you know, does that maintain its levels? Does that maintain its, uh, its imprint? I'm assuming it'll main, at least maintain the, uh, the ancestors, the, uh, the mutations that you have on it, but we'll see. So just wanted to kind of throw that out there and talk about that a little bit. Um, it's interesting and yeah, uh, it's unfortunate we're going to have a delay on these maps. I'm interested to check out the Gigantosaur on uh, on Wednesday, so we'll do a video about that. Uh, that'll probably come out Friday. And, yeah, um, we'll keep everybody updated on what's going on with ARC, but uh, we're just going to keep breeding and doing our thing, and we're going to be um, working on some No Man's Sky videos for this Omega Expedition, uh, trying to get that done, and also obviously playing nightingale so uh yeah thanks for watching hope you guys uh like the video subscribe leave a comment all that stuff uh yeah appreciate it have a good one